bizarre twist tonight in the affairs of former President Trump. Today, he sued his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, for half a billion dollars. Cohen says Trump breached his attorney client relationship by revealing Trump's confidences. That's what Trump said about Cohen and spreading falsehoods about Trump. Mr. Cohen, a key sworn witness in the indictment of Mr. Trump. All this as Trump is due back in New York to just, uh, testify tomorrow in the attorney general's investigation into the former president. Lots going on, unpacking it for us. I was just water Jim Dolan. He's live at Trump Tower in Midtown. Jim. Yeah, Bill, the former president should be back in his home here in Trump Tower, oh, just about in time for Eyewitness News at 11. In the morning, he will travel to a deposition with State Attorney General Letitia James, where he will probably not answer very many questions. It's just one of a growing number of legal headaches that consumes the president ti president's time just now. Former President Donald Trump is coming back to New York tonight to face a second deposition tomorrow with State Attorney General Letitia James. The first one was contentious and not terribly productive. I declined to answer the question. You are currently the president of the Trump Organization, is that correct? Same answer, same answer, same answer. The state lawsuit alleges that Trump claimed different values of his own net worth in order to get favorable loan terms from banks. Tomorrow's deposition, of course, comes on the heels of last week's indictment by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office on criminal charges, at least two other criminal probes in other parts of the country, and a civil case involving writer E. Jean Carroll, who claims Trump once sexually assaulted her. Trump certainly has a lot of headaches that he has to... Uh that he has to deal with. But apparently not too many for the former president. Trump today filed a lawsuit of his own against his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, who testified against Trump about the Stormy Daniels case and served time in prison for his role in it. In the complaint, the former president says Cohen breached his duties owed to Mr. Trump by virtue of their attorney-client relationship by spreading falsehoods about Mr. Trump that are likely to be embarrassing. But they're very smart and they're very vicious. And in a fawning interview by Fox News host Tucker Carlson last night, Carlson asked if the legal issues would make him drop out of the presidential race. I'd never drop, drop out. out, no, I'd never drop, it's not my thing, I wouldn't do it. So tomorrow is the attorney general's deposition, and then that E. Jean Carroll case is scheduled to go on trial in Manhattan on April 25th. The former president wants to delay that about a month, but today E. Jean Carroll said she wants it to go on schedule.